hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Pele and if you are new to this channel I do tutorials on Microsoft Excel Word and PowerPoint also I do video editing and image editing and if you like this channel and you like our videos just don't forget to hit the subscribe button the like like our videos and then don't forget to hit the bell notification so you get notified every time we post new videos and for today's video we're gonna be creating a dependent drop down list in microsoft excel so this is a simple tutorial it's gonna be simple it's straightforward it's not too complicated and it's gonna take you less minutes than usual so i hope you guys like this video and i hope this video help you to your project or if you just wanted to learn how to create this drop down list so the first thing we're gonna do is we have already our table that i already created but if you're not uh, familiar on how to create tables or how you can do this i already have a tutorial that i have posted on youtube so you can check that i'll leave the link down below and you can check that video before you watch this one but if you're already familiar you can continue or whatever you want to do it's your choice but i have the video that already there for you if you want to learn how to create uh, uh, professional tables in Microsoft Excel. So here, as you guys can see, we have uh, two car brands. So we have Hyundai and Honda, and we have the models. So we have three models for Hyundai. We have uh, Electron, Genesis, and Sonata. And for Honda, we have Civics and Accor. And for colors, so these are the colors for each model. So for Electro, we have white and silver, Genesis, black and uh, blue, and so on for other uh, uh, models. So what we want to say, uh, we want to do is, we want to tell Excel is, if I select Hyundai and I select Electron, show me only this color. Or if I select uh, Hyundai, only show me this uh, models here so let's start our tutorial so the first thing we're gonna do we can choose any cell here so for me just to make it visual for you guys I'm just gonna choose the the cell uh, or the row G and H so the first one I'm going to do is I'm going to name it uh, brands and then the H is gonna be our models and then the I is going to be our colors so from here now I can start doing my coding so the first thing the first one we're going to do is we're, we're going to create a drop down list for the brands so how we can do it is we first select the cell where we want to put our our drop down list then we go to data tab and then from here you come to this uh, icon here so if I have my mouse as you guys can see it says data validation so I click it and then go to data validation and then from here under allow i'm going to change it from any value to list and then from on the source i'm just going to type in i can actually select it but if i want i can so let's let you select it it's easier that way so if i click this icon here this upper icon and then i come here i select both of them see it's going to give me brand so then go so it equal brand so now if i click ok so now when i come to this drop down list now it gives me uh the two brands here so i have my hyundai and i have my uh, honda so these spaces here that's because i merged these three cells here so that means it's give it's reading it as the hyundai is only on uh row uh, or row or column a so that's okay you can leave it like that or the other uh or way you can do this let me just go back to data validation so instead of me selecting them i can actually erase this and then come here that just type manually type in the name so i'm gonna go honda uh comma and then honda then i click okay so now when i come here as you guys can see i don't have that spaces anymore that's because I manually just type in. So this is better. So I'm going to leave it like this. So now for our models, since we have different models. So instead of me going typing in manually, we want to, we want it to be in the uh, dependent uh, drop down list. So I want, if I select uh, Hyundai, I only want to see on models, Electron, Genesis and Sonata. Uh, Sonata. 
So how I can do this is select my models uh, cell, then go to data validation again, change it from any value to list, then from uh, source, instead of me typing the name, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a code. So that code is equal indirect, I open parenthesis, and then from here, I want this list to be dependent of the brands. So how I can do this is I um, have my code and then select it. So now I have G2. Then I close my parentheses. So now when I click OK. So if I select Hyundai and I come here in this drop down list, I'm only going to see the models that under Hyundai. That means Electron, Genesis and Sonata. And it's the same thing if I only select Honda and it's going to only show me Civics and Accor. And now let's do the same thing with colors. So on the colors, of course, I'm going to select the cells on colors, go to data and uh, click the data validation option, change it from any value to list. Then here I'm going to create again equal indirect, open parentheses. And then from here, so instead of me selecting G2, I'm going to select H2 because I want the color uh, the color cell to depend on the models uh, uh, cell. So now I'm going to select H2, then uh, close my parentheses, then click OK. Now I, I'm, I did this on purpose so you guys can see this error message so you don't freak out when you're working on your own project. So when you put in your code, if there is nothing selected on the dependent cell, that means it's going to ask you this. The source currently evaluates to an error. It just it's not like an error that's it's not gonna work, the code is not gonna work. It just means like currently there is nothing selected there, so it's not reading anything. But I'm just going to click yes. So now if I come here, select Hyundai, I click I select civics. I have my colors yellow, black, orange, and red. And it's the same thing that we have here. As you guys can see on civics, we have uh, yellow, black, orange, and uh, red. And it's the same thing. If I come here, select Hyundai, uh, I select Genesis, and then I select, I have my three colors here. So that's how you guys do a drop down list, a dependent drop down list in Microsoft Excel. So I hope you guys like this video and this video was helpful for you and it's going to help you with your project. Don't forget to uh, hit the subscribe button, like the video and hit that notification bell on the top so you don't miss any of our new videos and you get notified every time you receive a new video uh, that we post a new video. So thank you very much and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Bless.